what are you here for? Um, so basically there's this movement called Coney 2012 and the foundation is called Invisible Children and basically the foundation is trying to stop this man by the name of Joseph Coney who's doing terrible things to kids in Uganda and we're basically in neighboring countries in Africa. And we're all taking a stand so today on August 20th, 2012. August, <laughs> August, August, April, April, April 20th, 2012. Um, we were gonna, you know, like just protest. Cover the night. Quote, unquote, cover the night. Go around to, yeah. It was supposed to be on like an international movement where people band together and you print out posters. You can purchase them online, but there was a lot of um, problems surfacing about the Invisible Children campaign itself and how much money goes into it. And um, there's a lot of controversy about that. So we just decided to go the easy route and print out our own posters and you know, spend can I a few bucks. The posters? Yeah, definitely. So it's basically just the. And it's about uniting um, yeah. in this 2012 the election year about so many people are fighting um, Democrats versus Republicans and there's a lot of political tension I guess going on um, and social tensions in the world that they wanted to bring us out to kind of say yes, you know, politics do matter but also humanity matters and people matter. So what do you think about this turnout or this lack of organization or because you're waiting for someone. Yeah, well basically I was expecting like a whole bunch of people really to get involved, especially since the video went viral. I mean, 100 million views is a lot of views. I was expecting like a lot of people to yeah. get involved, and as of now, yeah, I'm not really not seeing many that. People. So it's will, sort of a disappointment. But will you still? We're still gonna do our thing. Of like, course. we're gonna yeah. go ahead and do it no matter if it will show up or not. We just it's, wait. Yeah, this is important to us, so of course we're gonna continue. <laughs> we're to here because um, our friend Lauren, it's her birthday. She sent us the video, and she's like, "This is a really cool cause, and we should all do it." And it's worthwhile because children are dying and being captured. And what are the shirts? They're part of it? Yeah, they're part of the action kit that you buy from the um, organization of individual children. It has posters and stickers and bracelets and everything you need to carry out the cause. And so what? what's going on? Like, I feel like it's not as many people as I thought it would be. Yeah, I think everybody's a little confused about what's going on right now. Okay. So are you still going to, you know, even if a lot of people don't do it, are you still gonna like? We're planning on plaster? still going, putting up posters, and even maybe in our hometown also. Oh, so, well, how much were the action kits? Thirty-four dollars. Oh, damn. Yeah, something like that. And what do you get in them? A pin, two bracelets. Should I break it out? Uh, sure. A T-shirt, four posters, a big bumper sticker, four little stickers, and a book about what to do. And it looks I, like this. Yeah, I emptied out some of it, but we have some. Uh, we have some posters in here. Okay. We have some bumper stickers and yeah. whatnot over here. I took out some of it. But. So, what do you think about like all that? you know, has gone on with Invisible Children since the first video, like, you know, the founder, he went to, he got arrested, and then, like, this, do you think that helped, not helped, that... I think it hurt the cause, hurt. but I think what's important is getting the message out about what's going on in Uganda. I think whatever charity you want to donate to or whatever way you want to help is good, and I think Invisible Children got the word out, and now everybody can do with that information what they want. They want. And um, some people are, like, you know, on the other side, of the fence where they think, you know, putting Coney's name on a poster or a t-shirt is offensive or disrespectful. What do you think? I think um, they made it pretty clear that they're trying to make him infamous, infamous, not famous, which is a bad thing. And once you see the name, you're like, who is that? You go research it, find out he's a bad guy, and you realize what's going on. And they're just trying to, trying to get awareness, and I think they, they've done it pretty effectively. I'm at Times Square now. Trying to see if this Coney thing is real. If the kids are covering the night or not. Just came from Union Square. It's kind of dead. Let's find out. Found one poster. A few homemade posters. Can I walk with you? Yeah. I'm doing, I do a radio show. I'll walk, I'll walk with you. Oh, Which okay. way are you going? We're going on the subway right now. Oh. Okay, where are you going next? Um, we actually just covered Times Square. There's a thing up there. I don't know if you want to oh, go all the way back. Yeah. Over. There's a crowd meeting all the way back there. We're covering the night all tonight. Okay, well, I yeah. think there's some people looking for you guys at Union Square. I just came from there. Yeah. And everybody's like, what do we do next? So just take over. All right. Um, do you guys feel like, because some people are saying it might be like disrespectful to like make 
Coney famous? What do you feel? I mean, I think at the end of the day, we're doing our part. We're trying to do as much as we can. Um, I know there are criticisms, but I think that we're trying to save and help children in Africa. And to my knowledge, I'm doing something that I think is worth my time. And do you think there's, is there any other cause like in America that you would stand up for the way you stood up for this? Absolutely. We just need another movement. Walking up to the MTV corner, um, it was kind of disappointing at 14th Street, but it seems like uh, the NYU kids are up here on 42nd Times Square, like they might have it on lock. So I seen some homemade posters and also some copies of the poster you can get online. I spoke to a girl. Um, here's another one right now. So something is happening. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna go where the crowd is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Why does this is why is this important to you? Sorry? Why is this important? Why is this important? It's because this guy, Connie, is killing a lot of children in Africa. We have to stop it. And how will how will this help? Because if we make him famous, the government of USA is gonna hack. All if right. he hacks, we can stop him. So what can we do after tonight, after all the posters go up? Um, I think just tell everybody you know about it, go online, um, put pressure on your congressman. Right now, we are supporting, um, we provided military assistance um, as purely like advisors and counselors to um, the Ugandan government to help hunt him down, which is why he's on the run now and why they're bringing special attention to him. Um, you know, you can donate to the group that's organizing this, um, but put pressure on your you know, Congress people, make phone calls, um, just just try to let everybody know this is going on. this movement today? Well, we're just uh, taking a walk down uh, Times Square and um, my wife's first time in New York so she wants to visit Times Square and we saw this um, um, protest or demonstration happening and we're like, hey, what's happening? I said, okay, it's about CUNY and um, that's, 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 that's how we... And there are some, you know, criticisms that, you know, putting Coney's name on a poster and plastering it everywhere is disrespectful. What do you think? Uh, disrespectful to the victims, perhaps? Well, um, uh, uh, I want to be careful what I what I say concerning the victim because it's a very emotional thing. But if it's to Cooney, I would say it's all disrespectful to him because he wasn't um, thinking of respecting other people when he was, you know, performing all you know the the acts which I mean which he did. Uh, for the victims, well, it's kind of um, um, it could be emotional, so I would I would like that to pass. But uh, like I said, I think that. In every way uh, that 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 we're trying to bring this to the um, attention of, of leaders, of people, of policymakers, of influencers, of everybody in the world. And I think that what we're doing is is good, and everyone should do as much as he or she can. As far as like the money's raised and where it's going, are there any other ways people can help? Um, as far as you know, because people bought these posters, they purchased them, and some of the money, 30% only went to the cause, 30% went to organizing, and 30% went to making that film. So, are there any other ways that you might suggest, you know, as a person from Africa, as a person from the continent, maybe better ways to spend your, you know, charity, charity dollars? Uh, well, I'm hearing that for the first time. So, you're saying that 3% went into what? The the making of, because there's a movie yeah. that goes behind this, yeah. and then 30 to like the organization, you know, for them to do it, and then 30 to the uh, to the move to to Africa, you know. Can I let that pass? Because <laughs> I, 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 I still have to process the information. Yeah, I process that. that. Process that. that. Yeah. All right, cool.